Hello and what's up everyone for another video and this video is for tips for the beginners of the Genshin Impact game or the newcomers for the for the Genshin Impact. So in the first category must pull for beginners. I would suggest you to pull for the standard banner or maybe a freaking limited banner if you get lucky enough on the 50-50 lows or get either the one of the characters in the standard banner because right now in the Genshin timeline in the Genshin timeline Many of the newer characters is so hard to level them up because the materials you need is like so luck and you're under leveled so don't roll for this yet. So in the mid game you probably need Zhong Li and 3.0 having Zhong Li which is much better you should pull for him and the beginners must be pulling for him because it's it's too overpowered dude now Xing Xiao Xing Xiao is really good pick for the mid game because he's a good support good hydro hydro resistance or whatever damage resistance and He's a good hydro applicator and a good sub DPS or support DPS. Silk Rose is an, just an alternate cause off for you. It's, it, she's really good. She's really good on mid game. And I don't think you can get another Kazawa for like another year or maybe four months. Because Kazawa just got a rerun. And yeah, it might take a while to get him. Bennett. Bennett is really good. You must pull for Bennett because he will carry you throughout the game. Kujusara, Kujusara is more like a mid, mid, mid to late game because I suggest build her in the late game. If you have Raiden Shogun in the late game, uh, later stages on many many months later or that Raiden gonna be rerunning and Kuchu Saru happen to be her with him I her with her build her she's really good she's really good support Di Diona is really good pick as well because if you don't have Zhong Li you should have an, an alternate shielder if you have sack bow, yes, sacrificial bow is really good. Fischl. Fischl is another good pick because one thing, electro damage dealer and a lot of energy recharge particles for your team is really good. And now for the late game, there's a lot of characters you can pull for this late game because you could either pull for Ganyu but this gun but Gandhi is more like a preference for the players as well as Tu Tao because some players might like the freaking stamina and some others don't Red and Shogun is must pull Kazoa is must pull Kokomi is probably must pull because she's mo probably more better a hydro applicator for the free teams like Ayaka Yelan is also good you must pull for her Join me, uh, probably. You can pull for her if you like her. But the problem is, she's only a freaking um one target only. Because yes, Eula, you must have her, or probably because Eula is a physical user and he she deals a lot of freaking physical damage. And the free characters that will carry you in the beginner or early game. You must build Shangling because 
Xiang Lin can deal a lot of damage on her elemental burst, which is gonna help you a lot. And I never build Xiang Ling until late game because Xiang Ling it 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 doesn't even have like shine in the few years earlier in the games. But yeah, I think that the previous versions probably the the other players might be carrying them with Xiang Ling, so yeah. She she only freaking appeared to me because she got re really recognized by Rade by Raiden Shogun team. And Barbara, she, you might build her because you need a healer for the beginning, for the early game. Because yes, I'm sorry if I'm recording on my phone. Yes, I don't even record my freaking laptop because yes, it's night. Anyways, for tip number two, always spend your resin in the early game in the ley lines. Do not go for the artifacts, but you can go for the investigate option or the overworld artifacts because that will help you a lot or freaking defeating few opponents and but defeating opponents probably that for late game but early game yeah. You need a lot of freaking ley lines and a bit of bosses in the early game to really help help them to level up. Then in the mid game around AR thirty five, you can you can go for the four star artifacts of the your main DPS artifacts. But yes, you can go for the four star versions of the five star artifacts. This why, and always save your resin fragile, fragile resins until your AR forty five. That's when you get a lot of five star artifacts, one hundred percent, permanently. And that's all. If you get really worried about the. What type of weapon of every character you must search it in? Um, but every catalyst, like you call me, um, Barbara, or other any catalyst users or book users or magic users, must have the dragon's drilling tails because it really helps. If if you have Barbara, yes, build her. Have the dragon drilling tails. You can switch to her like E skill, then freaking switch again. Then your character have forty percent attack bonus because of the attack. I uh, I mean the book you have for the catalyst character. Yeah. Mostly I recommend pulling on some standard banner or like try even freaking weapon banner. But I I, I don't even try weapon banner. But you can try because. In the late game, you need a lot, like your main DPS. You must have two DPSs, okay, in the early game or the mid, early and mid game. Because yes, the mid game is mostly so for supports, and late game you could probably pull for anyone else. But I mostly recommend Kazuha and Raiden Shogun. Because they would get it a lot. And also farm for Noblesse for a lot. Like for Bennett, Kujusara, um, probably Zhongli, but no. But you can go for the two piece. Always spend your resin at the beginning and most importantly, um, when you explore the map, you can get a lot of chests and a lot of resources. Like, you can search for farm routes and there's more a lot to this game. There's more a lot. <clears throat> this is why 
if you pull for the limited characters because right now the Genshin Impact banner system is like the newer characters and more locked and the mid game is more si more like the support and late game is more likely a freaking anyone who would you freaking pull and Xiang Ling Barbara you must build them because they will them because they will carry a lot in the early game always spend your resin activate teleport waypoints so you don't have to freaking suffer in the freaking walking or swimming always use Kaya if you have freaking if you s suffer a lot in the freaking swimming a lot I mean there's a few bits of islands and it's so hard to get them get to them and yeah that's all for this video for today and probably i'm so excited for some sumeru live stream uh, i don't know if freaking me i'll freaking pay that freaking wi-fi internet service provider jesus christ man i swear to god hey beginners watch the freaking live stream okay free primo gems or codes you can only get them for like ar10 or ar5 i don't know but watch them because the anniversary is nearing in and more characters may come in and you might not even get them because you're an early gamer because more of the characters will be locked and more under leveled so yeah good luck so if you want that really want that sumero character or you must play now you must play now don't just don't wait don't wait till the character is released and you haven't even started because that's a bad habit dude you must play like two months before the characters release so it's really good to have that set of plans for the game <clears throat> So that's for the video today, um, I'm excited a lot for the live stream, so bye for now, bye.